Yo guys, what's up everybody? How's it going today? I'm oh, I'm really right on top of my screen. I'm gonna walk this way. I'm gonna walk this way. Point it here. Yo guys, what's up everybody? How's it going? It's Ragers. And today, we're gonna be talking about exclusive. I'm still on top. I'm still on top of the screen, ain't I? I still point the wrong way. Here. We're gonna go that way. And now that way. And okay. I should probably redo that. All right, guys. Yeah, but my name is Regers, and today we're talking about exclusives. When I say when I'm talking about exclusives, I'm talking about things like Forza versus Gran Turismo. So it's gonna be more of an Xbox versus uh, PlayStation. Sorry, Nintendo. I should probably do Mario Kart, but I I, th I think we know the winner out of those. All right, but no. But how are we gonna really do the comparison of exclusives? Well, I got a big list of things we're going to go over, so kind of like the total copy sold, the average sales per game, the overall rating system, uh, the hours of play time, and then, of course, I did a Twitter poll on it, because, you know, Twitter polls, they're the official thing right here, Twitter polls. Speaking of which, if you want to get involved with Twitter polls, feel free to follow me on Twitter, at underscore ragers. Really plain Jane. All right, guys. Well, let's get into this right away. We're going to start off with the total copy sold. So when it comes to the total copy sold for Forza, they sold roughly 28.8 million copies. Versus when it comes to Gran Turismo, they sold 80.4 million copies so far. So, I mean, that's that one that they're... they're there's really no competition on that one. It, it clearly goes to Gran Turismo. All right, the next thing we're going to look at, guys, is the total number of games. When it comes to the total number of games for Forza, there's 12. There's 12 of them, so... Hmm, but how many is there for Gran Turismo? Well, according to Wikipedia, because, you know, that's really honest. And I've also looked on other things like uh, GTPlanet.net. I looked on other things, too. I didn't just use Wikipedia. Uh, but Gran Turismo had 13 games sold. So, once again, the number of games go to Gran Turismo. That's two to nothing so far. Now we're going to look at the average sales per game. We're going to start off with Forza. They had roughly about 2.4 million copies sold. And then, when it comes to Gran Turismo, they sold a whopping... 5 million copies. So once again, winner, Gran Turismo. All right, so we're next. We're getting we're getting into this. We we're getting into this. I mean, it what what is it guys? Is it like 3? 3 to 3 to 0? I mean, can can Forza actually come back from this or is it too late? Or is it too late already? I I don't know. All right, now but we're going to go into the ratings here. So when it comes to the ratings overall, I'm going to go back this way again, because I feel like I'm covering something up, but I shouldn't be. Alright, so when it comes to the ratings, guys, we're going to go over the Forza. So, with their average rating, the first one was a 9.2 rating. Uh, Forza 2 was around 9.1. Forza 3, 9.2. Forza 4, 9.1. Forza 5 was 8.2. Alright, you, you, you get the gist. Uh, we're gonna. There's about 12 ratings there that I did. Calculated out the average, and the rating for that was roughly 9 out of 10. That's a pretty good rating. That's a pretty good rating. I don't know if uh, Gran Turismo can beat it. What do you guys think? Yes? No? Maybe so? All right, well, let's go. Let's get into that rating. So there was 13 ratings for Gran Turismo. And let me tell you what. You're darn tuned. They didn't beat it. They, they, they did not beat Forza on that one. They, they got a rough average of 8.2 out of 10. So the winner for this one was Forza. Forza. Not a shout out. Not a shout out, guys. There we go. So right now it's 3, 2, 1. Gran Turismo's winning. Okay, next we're going to go over the overall gameplay hours. When it came to Forza 1, it had roughly about 69.5 hours of gameplay we went to forza in my notes it says 22 there's definitely not forza 22 out yet 
Uh, but no, so it was roughly, this is Forza 2, just plain Forza 2. They had roughly 68 hours. When it comes to Forza 3, about 128 hours. Forza 4, 222 hours of gameplay. Forza 5 equals 190. Uh, Forza 6, 175. And now we're going to go into the Horizon series for Forza. There's, uh, I think there was like six of them so far for Horizon? Or is it four? Eh, either way, I'm still going to go into it. So for Forza Horizon, the original, there was about roughly, uh, 28 hours of gameplay. Good job, Forza. Alright, we're getting the Forza Horizon 2. I just tripped over my own words. That's embarrassing. Alright, when it came to Forza Horizon 2, there was about 111 gameplay hours. Big step up. That was a big step up, Forza, from uh, the original Horizon. Alright, when it came to Forza Horizon 3, about 112 total game hours to play. And then Forza Horizon 4, they, they, they went on a little bit of a downward trend. Uh, they didn't... Um, and do the best. It was roughly uh, 97.5 hours, so it's still, eh, it's fair. It's pretty good. Still under 100, though. Alright, so there was Forza 7 as well, which I looked into, and they had roughly about uh, 145 hours of gameplay. That's pretty solid. And then when it came to Forza, there was a Fast and Furious version of Horizon. Can we, uh, can we get a drum roll for how long this game was? This was a whopper. Oh, a whopper of a game, boys. It had a total of four hours of gameplay. Yeah, oh yeah. That's some good stuff right there. All right, guys, but with all that, there was about uh, average hours of play for Forza was roughly 112.5. And if my Steiner math is right, I hope to God it is. That's not bad. 112 hours is definitely not bad. It's not the worst in the world. All right, guys, you just heard of the Forza average hourly gameplay if my Steiner math is completely right. So now we're going to go to Gran Turismo and I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. I looked it in. I think I'm pronouncing it right but you know sometimes I mispronounce things. Alright so the first game Gran Turismo the original for the PlayStation was originally 46.5 so a little lower than the first Forza. So it's alright it's not bad. So then we go to Gran Turismo they had two, they had about 121 hours of gameplay. Not bad, not bad. Gran Turismo 3, mm, bumped it up a little bit more, just a little bit more. 177 hours of gameplay. Alright, and then, you know, you think, meh, you see the trend here, they're, they're slowly bumping it up a little bit. Guess what? For Gran Turismo 4, there's roughly 344 hours of gameplay. That's a pretty big jump. Not gonna lie. Alright, guys. So, yes. 344 hours of gameplay. That's a pretty big boost. But then. But then, you know. That's a pretty high one. I think they'd stick around there. You go to Gran Turismo 5 here. What's, what's the, what, what do you all think it's gonna be? 300? 400? 500? It's none of the above, actually. It's 641 hours of gameplay. Why do I even go on? Forza, just Jesus Christ, they lost. They, they lost that one. Okay. Now, we'll, we'll still go on here. We'll still go on here. Gran Turismo 6? Drops down a lot to 105. I guess they got, they're like, well, I guess we shouldn't really make them that long. Alright. But you know what the funny thing is? You guys remember the little PSP portable? I'm really hoping I'm not dating myself here because they're here, here, here. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me show you what this bad boy looks like. The power of the green screen. That, that's what the PSP looked like right there. All right, they they made one for that, and the gameplay on that was roughly 20 hours, which isn't bad for a portable game by any means. It's not bad. Then there was Gran Turismo Sport, which is about 149 hours of gameplay. Then we go to the Gran Turismo Concept Series Tokyo. Still, for concept, it had 100 hours of gameplay. Good job, man. Good job. All right, and then it was Gran Turismo HD, another concept game. You know, they're probably dropping those 100 hours on the concept games. You know, what? Nah, 21 hours. 21 hours. 
That's it. Still better than uh, Fast and Furious. Four hours. Joke. All right. So next, we're going to go to Gran Turismo 4 Pro. They had an extra 19.5 hours added on to that. And then we went to Gran Turismo Pro 5, which gave us another 44.5 hours of gameplay. So the average hours of gameplay on that one equaled out to roughly 149 hours of gameplay. All right. We're going to hear it here. The Xbox exclusive Forza. And it was it now? Has one. One in the category. And now Gran Turismo has four so far. Four. I'll put those really close together. It's we 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 need over a whole one, but we're gonna go with the Twitter poll. And then here it is, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk this way, this way, right here. Turn around. Twitter poll. Let's make hey, hey editor to make that full screen. Full screen it up. Okay. So yes. There we go, guys. That Twitter poll. It was like a 40% thought Forza was better, and then 60% thought Gran Turismo was better. So, the overall winner, guys, the better exclusive for the racing games is actually Gran Turismo. Pains me, I've never played it. Like I said, I've been an Xbox guy for the longest time. But hey, you know, statistics never lie. Unless I do them wrong completely. But still, Gran Turismo, they had it all. They won 5-1. to one. And the Twitter poll, man, spoke. So that is the better exclusive. Hey guys, I really do hope you enjoyed that video. I mean, statistics and stuff can be a little boring, so I tried making it a little bit more interesting for you guys. Even if I had blunders, mess up, you know, that's who I am. I'm raging. I'm, I'm a little crazy sometimes, you know. I stumble over my words. It, it happens. We're, we're human. But I really hope you appreciate it. If you guys did, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe down there. Oh, God, that's corny. Whatever. <laughs> But no, but and remember you guys, I, uh, uh, see, I told you I stumbled over my word. Remember guys, I do go live. I've actually made a little bit of a transition over to Trovo.Live. So if you guys never heard of it, feel free to check me out on there. I do still go live. My normal time is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, around 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope to see you guys there because I can talk to you guys live. You can talk about what games you think are better for exclusives. Give me some ideas and I'd love to meet you all. I hope you all have a good, fantastic night, morning, evening, peace.